All right, everyone. So we've got about 30 minutes to the opening bell uh, this morning. We've got a couple stocks on watch. Uh, you can see LIXT is actually uh, below the volume weight average price, but this one is the one I've traded so far and I've made some money on it, but we'll have to see how well it holds this level. Um, you can see some sellers stacked there at $3. So this is a you know potential break of VWAP setup, but it's got a hold. The high is 304. Uh, and for those tuning in on YouTube for the morning show, reminder is always that trading is risky, so do take it slow. I encourage you to trade in a simulator before you put real money on the line, and don't try to blindly follow me or anyone else. We want to be disciplined about getting good quality entries. So this is coming up to resistance here, around 315. You've got two big green candles in a row. And so now the question is, does it hold the volume weight average price? So we let it pull back. You can see how it's pulling back there. I wanna see if it's gonna break three. So you've got $3 on the bid, 2.99. The high of this candle is 3.09. So I'm gonna take a starter there and I'm gonna add over 25 and 35. We're starting to see this accelerate. The high of this candle right there is 21. Add it at 21. My target on this is gonna be a move back to 350. Uh, LIXT is our leading gapper this morning. Watching on this pullback for an ad over 320. Good job for those that got that first trade. So next target is uh, 344 right here. A break of 344 and then a move up to 390. So through that range we'll be actively trading. Right now I'm going to put an order at 320 so I can add over the high of this one minute pullback. This candle has 10 seconds left on it. The last one green was high volume. So now let's watch the break over 320. Add it at 317 as I'm seeing green on the tape. As soon as I see that green on the tape I add there for the break over 320. There's 318, look for 319, 320. And my thought on this is, given that it's our leading gapper, it's gonna to continue to be in focus for a lot of traders. So a lot of traders are gonna be actively watching it and looking for opportunities. I'm in at 310 right now. I'm looking for either adding on a pullback off of VWAP or adding as we break through this high of 321 for a retest of 350. Watching down here. We've got about 30 minutes to the opening bell. We're gapping up 180%. We do have news. Yeah, this is the only one that's on my watch list right now. So 344 and then 393, these are the, the levels that we wanna see. I'm watching to buy the dip off the volume weight average price down here. I'm gonna put an order at 297, see if I can fill, if it does break down a little more. So 
So watching down here for a dip entry. This is a dip off the VWAP. My order didn't fill, obviously, at 97. High of this current candle is 12. Added at 13, now as it's curling back up. There's 19, let's see if we get the breakthrough. Can we break through 20 right here? And then 21, the flat top breakout. Added at 18, looking for the breakthrough 19 and 20. So this is a flat top breakout. If we can break through 20, we're gonna look for a quick squeeze up to 325, 335, and 345. So we've got 15 on the ass. There's 16, there's 17, there's 18. Looking for 19, 20, and then the break through this flat top. Right now you can see how we've got this pattern here, which is flat top breakout. 18 on the ask. Once we break through that level, then we're looking for a move up to 35, 45. So I'm gonna to switch to my uh, main account and trade it over here as well. Hold the position there, watching for an ad over 20 for the breakout. Order for 5,000 shares. Or if I could buy the dip off of three, that'd be okay too. Right now we're forming a five minute uh, bull flag. Right now we're in consolidation. It's coiling up, it's getting tighter. And when we look for that break through 318, 320, 325, we want to see it rip up to 330. So I'm going to put an order at 335. That way I can buy as it starts to break through that level. Yes, this is a one minute ABCD pattern on LIXT. So watching for the next attempt up to 320. For the flat top breakout. Our five minute candle right now is, um, is kind of a small light volume candle. Still has three minutes left on it. Watching to buy the dip. High of this candle here is 15. My guess would be the next break over 15, we'll see a quick squeeze of 16, 17, 18, and up to 19. This is almost gonna be a five minute bull flag right above VWAP. I'm still holding at 310, 311. Waiting for the break of 315 for the squeeze up to 325 or an ad off of VWAP. Okay, so let's watch this curl here if we break through 15. But trying to buy the dip down here. Got a partial fill at 302, 1600 shares. 
So trying to buy the dip and then watch over 315. So see how it's jumping around a little bit? We've got 40 seconds left on this five minute candle. Watch 315. So I had the order and I got filled at 302, which is great. Watching here, first five minute candle to make a new high is coming up. Added at 306 to buy the dip. Looking for the curl through 312, 315, and then first five minute candle to make a new high. We're up 170% here. That five minute candle is now closed. So now we've got a five minute set up here for first five minute candle to make a new high. Watching back over 311. Uh, I'm just gonna let it go. I'll look for another dip. I'm afraid it's going to break VWAP because we're in this consolidation. And if it was going to go, it should have gone already. It should have gone on that last dip right there, down to 302. So now we're breaking below VWAP. Added at 87 to buy the dip. Let's see if we pop back up to 95. This could be one of those setups where we dip and then we come right back up. So back over 305, I would start to add heavily for the move to 315. Let's watch to see if it gets right back up over three. No, a small winner. In at uh, 90, 87 out of 89. So it looks like this one maybe is dead, which is disappointing. Viru from yesterday. Yeah. So your high a day is um, 1535. LIXT. That was the spot where it needed to break very bearish that it's breaking back below VWAP. I'll keep LIXT on watch. Viru, I'll take a starter there uh, for the breakthrough 14. Watch over 1425. High this level 1424. Added at 17 on Viru. So the thing you've got going for you on Viru is that um, this is a break through the VWAP. So over 25 and 35, I would look for a move up to 1450. We'll see if we get a squeeze back to $15 here uh, on this push. No. So see how you get that candle that or that uh, sell order. As soon as I saw it, I hit the bid. Sell order came in there right on the level two. It was at 1405. Right away, a big seller comes in. Even though I added at 15, I sold at break even. Oh, well, actually it was, it was profit at uh, 1402. The high is uh, 1419, it would need to break that level.
So a little choppy here this morning. Yeah, Sean. Got some ADFN orders going through here on Vero. I don't like that the high volume candle is red. Uh, Viru has high volume on this red candle on the one minute chart. Red. Reminder, as always, for those tuning in, that trading is risky. Most beginner traders lose money, and my results are not typical, so take it slow. Don't trade money you can't afford to lose. So with about 15 minutes to the bell, Viru on this break of VWAP could have squeezed up, but it didn't. So that's a little disappointing. LIXT on this break of VWAP got over it. And then in this wedge consolidation where I was looking for that curl through 18, 25 and 30 back up to 344, ended up breaking to the downside. Now this is what we expect, consolidation and then a breakout and higher volume when the break occurs. This just broke to the downside, which is disappointing, but we wanted to see that exactly inverse. So that type of green volume on a break to the upside to 355. So at this point, it's just a sort of wide range, five minute chart. It's good that it's held above the low of this last pullback, but uh, it, it's still below VWAP. So volume weight average price.
So small gains so far here today, up 1400 bucks. Was up about 4,000, gave back a bit off the top. But haven't really made a whole lot today. It seems like a slow day. Minus 10. See, the thing is, this found support at the 20 moving average. Right now, we're below that 20 moving average. So I, I don't think I, I like it right now. So you can see Viru popping up again a little bit. Your high is 20. But it's on lighter volume as we're getting closer to the open. Watching Viru, took it uh, long there, uh, the break of 20, at 20. I wanna see if this pulls through to 25 and 35. The volume on that candle ended up being pretty solid green. So average right now is 416. Looking for the breakthrough 421, 425, and then up to, towards 430. Uh, We'll see what it does. Eh, taking the loss on it. Just feels like there's nothing moving right now. So I think I'm just gonna stop for the next 15 minutes and we'll see if something looks a little bit better closer to the open. You, you, you. I'm not sure if there's news on this. I'll take a quick trade at 43. Let's see if it breaks through $6. Watch you, you, you over $6. Add there at 66 for the breakthrough six bucks. If we can get over six, then we're looking for 615, 620. Nice squeeze, up 50%. High this candle, watch over 95. Adding at 87 right there for the pop through six. So average is 70, looking for the break of $6, holding 5,000 shares. Should have broken six. A quick trade from 50 up to six. Flat on the position, dip at 39. Added at 39 to buy the dip. Added at 43, looking for 55 and 65. Average is 45, added at 30. Trying to buy the dips on this for the curl back up. There's news on UUU. It's an acquisition. Added at 22. Looking for the squeeze back up to 35 and 45. Holding smaller position now. Back to flat. So a quick trade there on that breaking news headline.
Will the news give it continued staying power? That's the question. I don't know. Should have broken six. So we've got about 10 minutes to the opening bell. Switch back to Vero. So we're not seeing anything holding this morning. LIXT is pulling back. UUU is pulling back. Vero is pulling back. So this is a day just to take quick base hits, get green, and lock it up. So we've got about seven minutes to the opening bell. So unless we have something uh, that really holds up, I don't think I'm going to jump on the next thing that pops up. I'm going to wait for it to prove that it can hold its levels and then buy a retracement pull back.
So our leading gappers this morning, LIXT is the leader at 123%. It's pulled back a little bit. Broke below that ascending support line. So this one is out of play for right now. UUU is the third leading gapper. This one needs to get back over volume weight average price. BDSX is second leading gapper. This one is below VWAP. ATNM, so you're noticing a theme here. These have all popped up and pulled back. So we don't have something right now going into the open that's super obvious. Uh, so at this point, I'm probably gonna just sit tight and wait to see if something opens up that looks good. Sitting so at three thousand dollars on the day is, uh, you know, it's a little off my high of four thousand. I think I could have done better on LIXT earlier, but I didn't, and UUU didn't really hold up. So I think it's better just to be a little patient, wait for something that proves strength, and then be aggressive as soon as I see that. So it's still very early. It's only nine twenty-five. The move. Uh, yesterday on Viru, which was kind of unexpected for me, ended up being, you know, really through like 10 to 11, uh, you know, 10 a.m. on. So, uh, and I don't think this is the backside of the move yet because it hasn't really pulled back, but it's just in consolidation. So, I don't know. Uh, it needs to break over 15.35. So, I'll keep Viru on watch. I'll keep UUU and LAXT on watch. I mean, might as well keep them on watch, but... I want to see something that goes through the high of day, right? That's what I want to see, high day breaks, some real momentum. So today, you know, haven't gotten a lot and what we did get, I didn't really trade super, super well just because I was a little late getting in or I screwed up my entry, whatever. So that's, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, I'm going to sit tight here going into the open and we'll see if something holds up and maybe there'll be some opportunities between 10 and 11. All right, so uh, for those that have uh, tuned in for the morning show on YouTube, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. I'll be back at it first thing uh, tomorrow morning for the morning show, as always, right around 9 a.m. And I uh, appreciate you guys hitting the thumbs up and being subscribed to the channel. And um, yeah, if you didn't already check out the uh, scalping class from yesterday, I'll put a uh, link right up here. You guys should check that out. So check out that scalping class. And remember, as always, trading is risky. Most beginner traders lose money. My results are not typical. So take it slow. Keep learning. Keep studying. And I'll see you guys first thing tomorrow morning for those on YouTube.